the other way. Hey. There you go. And you just stepped on a bug. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Good boy. It's a good boy. Yes, you are. Hi, guys. Uh, whew. Uh, Bernie and Max here. Uh, apologize for being MIA for the last couple of um, months. But uh, Max was sick for most of October. But as you can see, he's looking quite well. Uh, he became blocked October 1st. Wasn't eating, wasn't drinking water, very lethargic. Photos at the end of the video. I had to make this kind of quick. One, it's cold out here, and two, my batteries are dying. So, anyways, um, so I went to the vets. I got him um, some meds for uh, nausea and uh, enema. That's right. <laughs> he was pretty much flat laid out anyways. And he's a butt guy, so it didn't seem to bother him. So I sat on the ground with him. I put my legs over him and um, gave him his very special treatment. It went well, but right afterwards, he got up and was like, what the heck is that stuff in me? And I'm going, no, Max, leave it in, leave it in, leave it in. He's, he tried to poop it out. But anyways, um, two days later, he passed his blockage. It was not fur, and it wasn't bones. It was just a very large golf ball-sized stool. Um, so it's like, I asked the vet, how do we keep this from happening in the future? Well... He's on laxative one day, two days later, cod liver oil, two days later, laxative. Um, I don't know if that will work or not, but um, I think it's just because his system is slowing down. He's an old man. Sit. Sit. I know. I know. Um, so that's what happened. But it took him like three weeks to get his appetite back to wanting to eat chicken legs. I mean, I had 32 in their in the um, freezer for him um, but he finally decided that oh yes I do love chicken legs and I'm going to eat them again so his stomach was still kind of in turmoil because after he passed his stool I was giving him a lot of laxative to make sure everything that he was cleaned out so um, yeah it, it was not a good month for us and I've had some health issues too but um, you know that's what happens when you get over the big six zero. I'm older than that, but we won't tell you how much older than that. But anyways, Max is just a few years older than I am in <laughs> human years. Um, we still ended up doing a couple programs in October, uh, so it was crazy. Um, yeah, I've got a couple videos that I haven't uploaded. I put wheels on his cage, so there's on a roll video that will um, come out. Um, one of the programs we did was outside. He absolutely loved that. It was nighttime, so um, that was great. He did not like the program that we did where kids were three feet from him. He was um, uh, pretty freaked out, but still, you know, he was good. I mean, he wasn't like snarling or anything like that, but he was, he behaved well. Um, we think my um, Frankie Ferret has lymphoma, so I'm, we're dealing with that. Uh, little Bun, I uh, took her in. Little Bun is, not Little Bun, sorry. Poppy Bun. Poppy, my evil bun. I took her in because she was licking her knees bald, and I just figured that was the end of life. I mean, she's nine, you know? She's nine, she's a Netherlands dwarf, and um, so I took her in to be euthanized. Changed my mind, like, the day before, but still kept my appointment. And, um... And which is a good thing, because the vet says she would have talked me out of it. We don't know if it's a behavioral thing or she was um, licking her knees because she has a, a bit of arthritis, and that's how she was dealing with the pain. So we upped her meds to twice a day versus once a day. So uh, good news, her fur is growing back. Um, she's active, um, still evil. She likes to be held a little bit more. I think she kind of enjoyed me trying to brush the mats out, but I had to actually cut them out instead of brush them out because um, it would it would hurt her, and, and she still shakes, you know, with with some pain. But you know, um, she's doing she's doing well. So um, get over here, get over here, come here. Oh, 
Anyways, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I know that in Canada, you guys have already had your Thanksgiving, so happy belated Thanksgiving. But um, just wanted you to know that Max as well. We are hanging in there, and um, now I'm scrambling to get his um, cage ready for winter in the snow. My cousin Genevieve came last weekend, and we did the big enclosure, so all the wires ready for any type of snow buildup because it's not going to happen this year. I'm not going to be out here, you know, throwing out my shoulder trying to clear um, snow off of um, his wire roofing. So now I got um, his other smaller enclosure to do, and I did about, you know, a couple hours yesterday, and it's just really harsh on my neck and shoulder. But anyways, it, you got to do what you got to do, right? Because we can't have um, his roofing collapsing, can we, baby? No. So anyways, thank you for all your um, inquiries about him. You can see that he's still a cat. He's still restless. Real leather gloves. No! No, 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 no. Not the good gloves. Not the good gloves. No, you can chew on the bad ones. You can chew on the fake ones. <laughs> I love that he is back to normal. Um, he was so sedate for a whole month. That it's nice that um, he'll let me chase him around now, and he's playful and um, rambunctious, and he's back to eating. And he dropped two pounds only to gain them all back, and yes, he is a tubby, 50 pounds. He is overweight, but um, I have to get him out to walk. But, uh, yeah, but I think they'll probably end up pulling off my shoulder if I take him out for a walk. No, these are my gloves, my gloves. <laughs> no. Uh, thanks guys for tuning in. Max loves you. So do I. <laughs> and I love Max. Mm. No, these are my gloves. You can't have them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. Okay. Can you let me up? Can you let me up? Can I let go? Unhook. 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 <laughs> okay. One. Two. Three. Okay. Good boy, Max. Good boy.